tonight. I can't think of a better way to kick it off. My first guest is known as the Mistress of the Dark. But, you know, she looks much better in the light. How about it for Elvira? Philadelphia Eagles? Oh, well, uh, I think I used to date them once. Hi, <laughs> guys. Oh, man. What do you have? Oh, well, I brought you a little Halloween gift. Um, you know how all the stars lately are having their own fragrances out? You know, like Liz and like Cher and everything. They have their own mm -hmm. perfume. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I wasn't able to get my own perfume deal, but I did get a car air freshener deal. And so now, <laughs> now your car can smell like Elvira. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I'll hang this up in my ride. Yeah, it comes with a little string and everything, so you can, like, hang it anywhere. You don't even have to hang it. I hate it in when car. you buy air fresheners and the string is optional. <laughs> you know? And yours has the string with it. That's really nice. Yeah. It's, it's, smells good. It's, it's like cleavage, actually. <laughs> it's like essence of cleavage. Okay, I'll hang this in my car. Oh, good, okay. This must be your favorite night of the year. Oh, it is my favorite night. You know, I'm kind of busy. I'm kind of feeling like the turkey at Thanksgiving right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the truth. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, you know, real busy the whole month, actually. Yeah, what, what kind of stuff do you do? Um, well, I'm out at Not Scary Farm, you know, I'm mm -hmm. singing and dancing and telling jokes and stuff. I'm kind of like the macabre Sammy Davis Jr., you know, kind of an mm -hmm. all-around sort of performer. Yes. And, uh, I'm flying, <laughs> <laughs> flying all over the country for, uh, Mug Root Beer, which I'm now promoting. I've uh, never heard of that. Yeah, it's the new Pepsi product. It's called Mug Root Beer. Uh, it's a good job, except for squeezing all those roots. I mean, it takes me forever. Uh, but... Yeah, it's squeeze the roots. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I'm flying all over the country, uh, mm -hmm. riding around with the root truck drivers in their trucks, mm -hmm. uh, delivering the mug root beer, which is pretty exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You travel a lot? Oh, yeah, I'm traveling a lot, you know. Oh, boy, are my legs tired, too. <laughs> I, uh, on a broom. Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> When you travel, do you travel just around the country? You travel internationally? Uh... Oh, I travel everywhere. Yeah, I just went to like Italy and Belgium, Spain and Japan. Mm -hmm. well, it's really a trip over in Japan. They kind of really liked me because I think they thought I was probably Japanese too, you know. But Hall <laughs> Halloween is like so weird there, you know. It's, I mean, Halloween everywhere in different countries is really different, you know. Mm -hmm. Like there, the little kids like dress up as seals and they go door to door and beg for sushi. It's, it's a trip. <laughs> you know? But, uh... There always is the danger of them being harpooned, which, you know, it's really dangerous for the little kids there. You, um, you had a movie that worked internationally, so, uh, they should recognize you when you travel other places, don't they? Oh, yeah, I'm in all different languages now. It's really a trip, I'll tell you, to see myself speaking Spanish and Japanese and everything. I didn't even take any lessons or anything. It was so cool. <laughs> how do they respond to you in other places? Uh, how they, they respond pretty much uh, like they respond here. Well, not in Hollywood. I mean, here in Hollywood, you know, nobody responds. I mean, I look like everybody else on the street. Yeah. But in other countries, they seem to think I look really weird. It's so weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we we got to take a commercial. Oh, okay. But we're going to come back. Okay. And uh, I hope you'll be here. Oh, I will. <laughs> when you're not on television, when you're not at Knott's Berry Farm, like, do you do housework? Do you cook? <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? Uh, not if I can help it. <laughs> you know. What do I do for fun? Um, hmm, well, I like to, mm, you know, dress up as something really normal when I go out, like, shopping and stuff. Like, when I'm at home, I usually dress up like Tiffany or something and, <laughs> and go to malls. And yeah. uh, I get treated totally different that way. Yeah, yeah I can change. imagine. How, how do people treat you when they see you, like, in a mall or a restaurant like this? Uh, like this? 
<clears throat> well, that's why they call them malls, because that's what happened to me. I get malls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't go somewhere like this too often. It's a very sexy outfit. Oh, I thank you. I try my best. <laughs> do, you, do you have a lot of dresses like this, or do you have to do a lot of laundry? Uh, do I have to do a lot of laundry? I mean, do well, you have no, a bunch of these? I do have a few of them, but, you know, they are polyester, so yeah. I can't just throw them in the washer and they're clean. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that this month, so that's why I'm wearing one of my car air fresheners. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. Did, didn't they have a, an Elvira look-alike contest or something? Oh, yeah, they have Elvira look-alike contests, like, every single day of the month, just about, during <laughs> Halloween, you know. But they just had a really cool one that was in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and they were giving away a fur coat as a prize. And, like, fur is, like, the only thing in the world that I just hate. Yeah. I like fur when it's on the animal. I hated it when it's on some ugly woman. So, <laughs> anyway... Giving a fur coat away is the best Elvira look like. So I asked him please not to. I told him I'd give him an Elvira pinball machine, an Elvira costume, one of my many merchandising things. They said no thanks. So some girls went down there, dressed as me. A girl won the contest named uh, Jeannie Brown, and she's like an animal activist, and she got the coat, and she's going to use it in Pittsburgh to educate people about the torture and cruelty involved in fur. Yes. So there. Yeah. Um, I miss movie macabre. Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. You plan on doing that again? I, I, we used to get to see all the good horror films and stuff. Yeah, well, uh, I never really got to see any good horror films on there. <laughs> uh, but I did, see, <laughs> I did see a lot of horror films. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get another show going where I do host horror movies, but, like, I've been so busy making feature films and everything. I really haven't had time for the small things like TV. Oh, excuse me, I'm oh, just kidding. Uh, uh, no, uh, just kidding, uh, I'm uh, kidding. Uh, I mean, local TV, local TV, local. <laughs> oh, I'm now you cry. What's your favorite horror film? Ooh, my favorite, you mean my favorite, like, best or my favorite, like, worst? Um, both. Your favorite uh, worst first. Well, let's see, uh... Ishtar was pretty bad. See, that was pretty scary. <laughs> I mean, as far as scary goes... Uh, I don't think they meant for that to be Oh, not, not like that kind. Oh, you mean like, well, probably, I mean, the favorite one that everybody always likes is Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> I have one on my show. I'm sure everybody loves yeah. that. You know, there's a lot of scary movies out there, but most of them aren't horror movies. Uh, I did like Leroy the Smog Monster. Wasn't that a movie that you were in once? Uh, <laughs> no. I don't remember that, uh -oh, but okay. I, I could have been heavily sedated. <laughs> 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 Leroy the what? The Smog Monster? That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Japanese film. Leroy the Smog Monster. One of those Godzilla monsters. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> what's your next film? You doing, working on something new? Um, yeah, well, let's see. What am I working on right now? I'm so busy with Halloween, I don't even have time to, like, think of what I'm doing next. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try to work on a new film, yeah, mm -hmm. like a sequel to Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, mm -hmm. and also work on some uh, TV shows coming up.